Hello and welcome. I'm Pastor Felix Malpica at Faith Lutheran Church. Thank you so much for choosing to worship with us. As we prepare for worship, go ahead and light a candle. That's something that we do every time that we worship together. It's a symbol of our unity. Despite us worshiping in different spaces and in different times, that the light of Christ continues to hold us all together. So go ahead and light a candle and remind yourselves of our unity despite our space between us. Also, as we begin to worship today, we are still focusing in on Psalms today, on Psalm 30, of turning mourning into dancing and the power of God to take any difficult patch in our life and to give us the energy to get through it and not only to get through it, but to thrive on the other side, that we receive abundant life from God. And now, before we begin, here are a few announcements from Tracy. Hi, I am so glad you're here with us and spending some time in worship. I know that over the next few months, there are going to be some big changes here at Faith Lutheran. But as part of the ministry team, I want to reassure you that along with our church council, we are busy planning for the future and we're excited for what there is to come. We are spending these summer months planning our fall programming. So look for things coming up like life groups, small groups, confirmation, some youth ministry that will be uh, kicking off this fall. And we want to make sure that you're connected to everything going on here in our faith community. So take a moment and look in our video description for our connect card. That will simply put you on our communications list so that you receive our emails and our mailings and keep you up to date to what's happening. If you are looking for some more question, answers to questions or want to know some more about what we offer here at Faith, look at our Next Steps card and take a moment to fill that out. And as always, go to our website, faithlutheranjanesville.org, and you can find any of the information about what's happening here. That's all I have for you this week. I'll see you here next Sunday. Now, as we prepare our hearts and minds for worship, let us acknowledge the presence of God that is with us and around us at all times, the breath of God, the Holy Spirit, the name of God. Together, let us take three deep breaths. Let us feel the dance of the Holy Spirit coming into our bodies together. Let us take a deep breath in and out. A second breath in and out. A third breath in and out. Now, let us begin worship by singing praise, praise, praise the Lord. Join me in this call to worship. Enter God's gates with thanksgiving. Enter God's courts with praise. Be changed through suffering 
and grief and rejoice once again. And now, let us confess our sins before God and one another. God of joy and sorrow, we come into your house with the noise and cares of the world bearing down on us. We expect you to fix it or to make it go away. Instead, you offer space for us to repent, refresh, and restore. Forgive us our short-sightedness. Forgive us our selfishness. Forgive us our impatience. Show us how to enter your house with gratitude and praise. O oh God, you receive our pleas with open ears and a forgiving heart. Receive now the entire forgiveness of all your sins. Be washed with the cleansing sound of God's grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now we continue with our Kyrie and Gloria. God of dancing and joy, you have the power to restore us from the pit. We have it within us to celebrate your goodness. You have turned our sorrow to joy more often than we can count. And for what? 
we rejoice. Amen. Psalm 30. I praise you, Eternal One. You lifted me out of that deep, dark pit and denied my opponents the pleasure of rubbing in their success. Eternal One, my true God, I cried out to you for help. You mended the shattered pieces of my life. You lifted me from the grave with a mighty hand, gave me another chance, and saved me from the joining those in that dreadful pit. 
Sing, all you who remain faithful. Pour out your heart to the eternal with praise and melodies. Let grateful music fill the air and bless his name. His wrath, you see, is fleeting, but his grace lasts a lifetime. The deepest pains may linger through the night, but joy greets the soul with a smile of morning. When things were quiet and life was easy, I said in arrogance, nothing can shake me. By your grace, eternal, I thought I was as strong as a mountain, but when you left my side and hid away, I crumbled in fear. O oh, eternal one, I called out to you. I pleaded for your compassion and forgiveness. I'm no good to you dead. What benefits come from my rotting corpse? My body in the grave will not praise you. No songs will rise up from the dust of my bones. From dust comes no proclamation of your faithfulness. Hear me, eternal Lord, please help me. Eternal one, be merciful. You did it. You turned my deepest pains into joyful dancing. You stripped off my clothing of mourning and covered me with joy. You have restored my honor. My heart is ready to explode, erupt in songs. It, it, it's impossible to keep quiet. Eternal one, my God, my life giver, I will thank you forever. This is a beautiful song that talks about the good news. The good news that God is with us. Even through the worst of times, God is with us. God is walking with us. God will give us the strength and energy to get through whatever comes our way. And always, there will be life after what we think is death. That there is always joy that comes after the morning. Whether it comes in this world or the next, God will provide. God's abundance will be with us. It is a promise that is sure. It is a promise that is yours. It is a promise that this psalm lifts up so beautifully. This is the gospel expressed through poetry. So take a listen again. Hear God's promise for you. If you find yourself going through a difficult time, if you find yourself going through something, wondering where is God, will there be an end? Hear the promise that yes, God is with you and God will provide you peace and joy everlasting. So here again, Psalm 30. I praise you. O oh, eternal one, you lifted me out of that deep, dark pit and denied my opponents the pleasure of rubbing in their success. Eternal one, my true God, I cried to you for help and you mended the shattered pieces of my life. You lifted me from the grave with a mighty hand and gave me another chance and saved me from joining those in that dreadful pit. Sing, all of you who remain faithful, pour out your hearts to the eternal with praise and melodies. Let grateful music fill the air and bless his name. God's wrath, you see, is fleeting, but God's grace lasts a lifetime. 
The deepest pains may linger through the night, but joy greets the soul with the smile of morning. When things were quiet and life was easy, I said in arrogance, nothing can shake me. And by your grace, eternal one, I thought I was as strong as a mountain. But when I felt that you left my side and hid away, I crumbled in fear. Oh, eternal one, I called out to you. I pleaded for your compassion and forgiveness. I'm no good to you, dead. What benefits will come from my rotting corpse? My body in the grave will not praise you. No songs will raise up from the dust of my bones. From dust comes no proclamation of your faithfulness. Hear me, oh, eternal one. Please help me, eternal one. Be merciful. (laughs) And you did it. You turned my deepest pains into joyful dancing. You stripped off my clothing of mourning and covered me with joy. You have restored my honor. My heart is ready to explode, to erupt in new songs. It's impossible to keep quiet. Eternal one, my God, my life giver, I will thank you forever. Amen. Amen. That is the power of the gospel. This timeless prayer comes to life again and again and again. Every single time that God shows up and does something amazing for you, for me, for the world, um, we can give praise. We ask for people to join us in that praise because God is good. God shows up again and again and again, and we shout songs of praise to God because God takes our deepest pains and turns them into joyful dancing. God takes off that clothing of mourning and covers us with joy. And this is a promise. It is a promise that no matter how deep and difficult the pain that you may be suffering right now, I promise you there will be joy, that you will be lifted up and out of whatever despair you may find yourself in Because God is good, because God shows up, because God has shown up. And, you know, sometimes we get complacent. It says it in this psalm. Sometimes when you're coasting through life and you feel like everything is okay, and we sometimes take a misstep and think, I can handle anything. I can handle anything at all. I am strong. I am good. And sometimes we even forget that God is around and we think, I got this myself. And then something happens and you get knocked off of that comfortable place. Well, well, that happened to all of us a year and a half ago. We all were comfortable. We all were complacent. We could see a pandemic coming and yet we felt safe in this place. And then it hit us and it hit us hard. It hit the whole country. Millions of people around the world mourning the lives of millions of their loved ones. 600,000 right here in this country who have passed. And yet, after being knocked off our center, we know that there is a promise that joy will come. 
that we will leap and dance for joy once again after missing a summer of all of those uh, joyful moments of gathering together of celebrating together of singing and dancing and eating and drinking together we will dance once more and that is a promise because god has shown up in so many ways because god is good and even for those who have been lost throughout the last year and a half. They too are dancing with joy now. That is the promise of the gospel, that no matter the depths that we go through, there will always be joy and dancing in the morning, so believe it. Believe it and know that God is at work in and through you and me, through the many people who decided to wear masks and keep the distance uh, from one another. We did that in love. We did that because there was a promise that there would be a time for dancing once again. And we are close. We are so close. We're almost there. We can see light at the end of the tunnel, and yet there's another hurdle in our way. And so we need, we need for all of us to come together, to take part, to do our part in keeping not just ourselves safe, but our brothers and our sisters safe, of getting a vaccine that can make sure we all will dance in joy tomorrow. Because God uses people like scientists and doctors who have worked tirelessly to bring this life-giving gift that if just 70% of us get on board, we can dance and sing for joy once again. And, well, God's promise is true. God's promise is true. We will sing and dance for joy. We will. The time will come. And we can participate in helping make that happen. Because you and I are partners in God's mission in the world. You and I participate in God's work in the world. So together, let's do our part. Let us believe in the promise. Let us believe that God is at work in the world. Let us trust that there will be joy in dancing one again. Let's not get complacent. Let's not believe we can just do it on our own. Let's not let selfishness get in the way, but let us work together for the sake of one another so that we together may sing and dance for joy once again and know that that is a promise. It is a promise that we will sing and dance for joy, and God always keeps the promise. Amen. i
dancing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. shouts of acclamation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God how great thou art then sings my We pray for the church, the world, and all those in need. Make us bold, O Lord, to cry out to you, whatever the circumstance. This life, these sorrows, this day of mourning shall not be the end of us. With you constantly at our side, we will dance once more. Faithful God, hear our prayer. The psalmist was wrong. Dust and soil praise you and tell of your faithfulness. We, children of dust, are as much yours as each blade of grass and each drop of ocean that you have created. Give us strength as mountains that we might see the power of your restoration. Faithful God, hear our prayer. Your greatness transcends any earthly kingdom, administration, or nation, nation state. Instill in us a greater loyalty to our maker, which inspires responsible citizenship and care for the disadvantaged among us. Faithful God, hear our prayer. Weeping may linger only for a night, but sometimes that night can seem endless. Sit patiently with those who wait on you and enfold them in your tender arms. Send healing especially to those we hold dear, those we may not know, and those for whom we may find it difficult to pray. Faithful God, hear our prayer. Join us to the generations of followers who called out to you and found your promises sure and true for all saints dearly departed and in fellowship with your whole church. Faithful God, hear our prayer. To you, O Lord, we have made our supplications. Clothe us now with the joy of your faithfulness and receive these prayers we offer for the sake of Jesus. Amen. Now together, let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours 
now and forever. Amen. And now receive this blessing, an ancient blessing used for God's people for thousands of years. And may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds this day and all days. As you hear and sing this blessing, go ahead and share the peace with one another. If you're with people in the room or if you're just on the chat, go ahead and make sure that someone knows that you offer them God's peace, that you pray God's peace dwell richly in their lives. Thank you. 
Thank you for worshiping with us. Thank you for supporting the ministry by watching online, by liking the video, by subscribing to the channel. And if you are wanting to get in touch with us, go ahead and click on the links that are in the information so we can get in touch with you so that we can better connect with you. And if you want to support monetarily, there's a link there too. You can give online through Tithely or you could send checks here to the church. Thank you for supporting us. And may God be with you because... God loves you. God is with you. And may God hold you until we are together again. Amen.